What's going on guys? This is going to be a shootout video between the Friedman BEOD and the Mesa Throttle Box. Um, both these pedals are awesome. Uh, I wanted the Throttle Box for the longest time and uh, went to Sam Ash to get it, but Sam Ash doesn't, um, doesn't sell Mesa stuff. And, uh, or Mesa doesn't want Sam Ash to sell Mesa stuff. I don't really know the story there. But uh, they did have the Friedman, and uh, I've done some research uh, on the Friedman uh, for my friend Johnny, and uh, they both sounded awesome, um, you know, in reviews and things like that that I watched on YouTube. And uh, just, you know, luckily a friend of mine, uh, Brian of the uh, Imposters, a uh, local cover band here in uh, Central Jersey, uh, had the throttle box and just let me borrow it to kind of do a, a shootout. I'll be using my uh, PRS SE245. This is all stock. Uh, except for the, the tone knobs and the volume knobs, I, I swapped those out. But um, all stock, I'm using 10s on these. Uh, my other PRS SE over there, that's the guitar I use more for now, that has a couple upgrades on it. But um, So I wanted you to hear a stock PRS SE, because chances are you guys own guitars at this price point. And I'm running through a, a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Okay, it's, a, it's a little pet peeve of mine when I watch gear reviews and uh, people are running it through, you know, core PRS US made stuff and they're running through, you know, the most high-end amps that you can find. Um, it's a little unrealistic for a guy like me who just, who uses guitars and, and gear at this, at this price point. So uh, hopefully those of you guys who are on, you know, the same, the same situation as me will get a, a pretty good representation of what this, uh, what this gear sounds like. All right, so here we go. All right, so we're going to start with the Friedman. You can tell that uh, all the knobs are pretty much at 12 o'clock. Okay, so Friedman first. Mesa at 12 o'clock's level is a little bit higher than the Friedman. It's a little bit louder. I don't know if you guys can tell that in the video or not. But um, oh, by the way, the throttle box is set to a high gain right now. Um, just trying to match it as close as possible uh, to the Friedman using bridge. <laughs> Friedman's uh, a little bit more saturated with distortion than the Mesa. Um, I feel like some of the, the hammer-ons in the upper register were a little bit cleaner out of the Friedman. Um, but you know, they, they both sound, you know, I think they sound pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, let's do some, uh, some neck. definitely has a little bit more volume um, uh, unity 
than the uh, Friedman does. Friedman's just a little bit, a little bit glassier. It's a little bit more of a clean sound. And if you guys are familiar with the Friedman, um, I have the the internal uh, gain set to about forty percent or so. I, um, didn't feel like opening it up and switching it back to normal, but uh, you know, pretty pretty similar gain stages right now. Overall, impressed with both. Um, so let's let's jack up the gain, shall we? sample you could tell the Mesa is a little bit louder but yeah super impressed so far with uh, both of these so I think overall the uh, Friedman has a little bit more of a, a smoother it's more saturated distortion that has a little bit more more bite to it I think a little bit more clarity the Mesa is a thick uh, that's a thick distortion man for sure um, I'm sure if I mess with the tones more to my personal liking, you know, I, it, it, it could be super convincing. Uh, these aren't actually my settings. I uh, just wanted to keep it as, as flat as possible for, uh, for you guys. But um, no, both pedals are awesome. Right now, the Friedman is, is doing pretty well. I don't regret um, not getting the, the Mesa for right now. I think I'd been happy either way. The thing that the Friedman has that really got me into it, though, is that it has a tight knob. So it kind of... It kind of pushes out some of the lows, I think, and just, I, I think, and I don't know exactly the technical reason for this, but it pushes out a little bit of the lows and it kind of just tightens it up a little bit. It's like, uh, you know, it says tight, sorry. It kind of has like a, almost compressed a little bit. But I think the Mesa already naturally has a nice compressed, compressed tone to it. So uh, my normal settings, in case you guys are wondering, uh, I do this, this, and I do that. I like a nice mid... Um, mid-range, mid-presence um, in my playing. I'm mostly a rhythm guitar player in my uh, in my cover band, so I want to make sure uh, I sit in the middle, you know, in, in the mix. Wow, man, that is just super loud. Um, I don't really know how to shape the tone so well on this because it just has, you know, it seems like it adds more highs. Yeah, you hear it there, right? Uh, the mid cut, I heard there's, it's more of a, uh, uh, what do you call it? A mid scoop when you go right. It, I guess I would need to really jack that. So the Friedman has, uh, I think, a little bit more flexibility with uh, with dialing in your tone because it has that extra knob there. Um, I like that it has uh, the bass and treble. One thing I didn't like about this was that it didn't have uh, a mid. So this one has a mid, mid cut, but it doesn't have a tight. So I guess what would really make me happy is if I own both of these. But, um, you know, overall, you know, it's up to you guys what you guys like better. I, I think I'm, I'm still partial to the Friedman, although this pedal kicks ass too, man. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call this pedal a slouch at all. So, yep, that's it. That's the shootout between both. And uh, thanks for watching.